My girl Serena is blazing the magazines with a hot, unretouched magazine spread she did for Harper's Bazaar coming out in August. But it's not without backlash. And we're gonna talk about that right now because my girl, I'm gonna represent her. But first, on this channel, we put on our plus seven glasses when we talking about Serena Williams because we working on skilling this craft, bringing you a life game. Please subscribe to my channel. And the best way to view my channel is to go to my homepage on YouTube, go through all the various playlists I have. There's truly something for everybody. So Serena Williams did what she's calling Unretouch magazine cover for Harper's Bazaar, where she's talking about um, her experience last year in losing to Naomi Akasaka. She wrote an essay, but she also is giving empowerment to how beauty can be done without makeup and plastic surgery. And she put some of the most sexy photos she's ever done. The lady's 37 and she has a child, but it did come with some backlash. Take a look at what people were saying on social media links. Now, personally, as I read through some of that stuff, of course, I got a little mad because I think Serena Williams is right up there at the apex of a queen, African-American queen. She's done it all. She's not just done it with her body. One thing about Serena Williams is she is strong, she's powerful, she's fit. And when you talk about the image, whether we like it or not, we live in a country where image sells a lot of money. And I think that what Serena did in this was, it's pretty tactful. It looks like the old heads is upset with it and not the young people. But to really get an assessment of how you feel, we need to hear what the ladies think. So ladies, what do you think about Serena Williams cover magazines? Of course, I think it's fine because she's showing off her great health. She's showing off her physique. And this is a woman that has done it all without plastic surgery. Nowadays, you see women that have these physiques and what may have you, and they ain't worked out hard for that. Serena Williams works out hard. She's still in the top of her game in tennis. But also, I think she is a model for black don't crack, baby. She ain't cracking nowhere at 37 years of age, and she's back competing hard in tennis. Now, somebody said that, you know, she's doing the Kardashian thing. Has anybody seen Serena Williams in a sex tape? I haven't. Um, is Serena Williams showing everything? No. She showed a little bit of tail that is very, very fit tail. We know she's squatting, and I don't see nothing wrong with that. This is a new day and age. Maybe back in the day um, when people didn't have their own brands or what may have you, you might not would do something like this. But I don't see nothing wrong with it. I don't think it was too scandalous. This is 2019. Things have moved in another way. And I do not think this ruins her being a role model. If anything, I think it let people know it can motivate people that, hey, even after having a baby, being 37 years of age, no plastic surgery, no drug use, you can achieve a healthy, fit, tight looking body just through working hard and working out. And health and beauty is a part of a female's brand, ladies and gentlemen. So I don't got no problem with it. Serena, I take my hat off to you, girl. Matter of fact, let me take this hat off because I think what you've done is inspired people. You've given them more to work toward. And in this household, me and my wife, we both think highly of you. We know your story, we love you. And I would encourage you guys to go get that Harper's Bazaar magazine when it comes out in August. But leave me comments about what you think. Do you think Serena went too far? Um, can you use this as motivation? Just your general thoughts on Serena Williams looking absolutely stunning. That's going to do it for this video. Don't forget to like my video. Please comment, subscribe. Go get yourself a life game. 
go check out Serena Williams. Regardless of what they say, she's still a role model and she deserves to be up on the wall. And anybody who's a woman, a man, whoever, you're working to do better, she needs to be on your wall. And until that next sex is hell video, I'll see you.